Hey, what's up guys? TBL here, coming at you with another video, another series of videos actually. Yes, we are going to be doing a full Let's Play of Shovel Knight. That's right, Shovel Knight came out about last week. I managed to pick it up on Sunday and I have been having an absolute blast with this game. I've already gone through it once, well twice really. Once uh, in a normal mode and once again in New Game Plus. And we're going to be starting ourselves up a New Game Plus mode right here. And uh, hopefully we're going to get through the entire game in under a week. It actually doesn't take too, too long to complete this game. You can do it anywhere from about an hour to five or six hours if you decide to try to collect everything. My first playthrough took me about four hours. And then I spent another uh, couple of hours jumping around trying to collect all of the goodies that are hidden throughout this wonderful little game. Anyways, not too much uh, time wasting on. We're going to jump right on in here. We're at the start menu and start game. Now, as you can see, there is my first file. I, uh, the clear time is 6 hours, 11 minutes, 39 seconds. After I beat the game, I kind of went back and played a little bit more to collect a bunch of stuff. This is a cheat file from a cheat video I put up a day or so ago. Hopefully you guys have seen that. If you haven't, check the description box below. It is a video that covers five of the best cheat codes for, uh, for, that have been found for Shovel Knight. A total of 321 cheat codes have been found, and I tried to pick the five ones that I thought were the best. Anyway, definitely check that out. I think we're going to go ahead and start ourselves a new game plus, utilizing my first save file, and we're going to dive right on into this. Alright, are you ready for the legend of the Shovel Knight? I kind of give all these characters voices, so forgive me if I devolve into voices. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. That's just how I imagined Shovel Knight would talk. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. Like super chivalrous. <laughs> when Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Oh no. I love this part. So he becomes a farmer. Rather than going to look for your friend, you become a farmer. <laughs> His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. It's a nice field though. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. <laughs> the Order of No Quarter. I wonder if they take new numbers. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Yeah, again, seriously, I, I apologize if I devolve into character voices during this. It's just, I, I, I speak in what I imagine people will look like. Oh! Alright, so we've got all of our items from the very first playthrough, which is going to make this very interesting. Got the good old, good old dust knuckles there, probably one of my favorite items. Still got my nice shiny armor. To make this quite a bit easier than it usually is. Anyway, Shovel Knight is a super old school action platformer that is uber, uber well polished. He's a gem. Break on some beetles, which actually I can't even quite tell what these are. Are they beetles? Are they scarabs or scarab beetles? Now the armor I am wearing is called the uh, ornate armor, I do believe. Yeah, the ornate blade. It's flashy, acrobatic, and completely useless. It doesn't do anything other than shine and allow you to flip. Oh, and also later on in the game, when you reach a specific point, you'll be able to. Uh, fast travel between towns, <laughs> and you do that in a hilarious way. And when you do it with this armor, it uh, you you land and people clap for you. It's it's a nice little touch. I am playing with this this with the uh, Wii U Pro controller, so I'm using the D-pad for most of my movements rather than like the game or yeah rather than the game pad, the analog stick. I find it easier with the D-pad. I don't know, maybe I'm just old and I'm I'm, I'm used to old school games with the D-pad. And got ourselves a dragon here. You're no match for my mighty shovel. Hey, come on. This is one of the game's easier... Whoa! It's a bomb. Don't remember that being there. One of the game's easier uh, mini-bosses. As long as you can... <laughs> I just gave up there. As long as you can just bounce around, you're safe. Alright, Shovel Knight has some pretty basic attacks. You throw a shovel. We got a downward strike, a la, you know, Scrooge McDuck on DuckTales. 
can pogo off the enemies' heads. And then, of course, you have your relics, which are your basic magic items. Come on now. Now, I wonder if this New Game Plus mode includes, like, all the musical notes that I found. Perhaps. Let's take a look. As I recall, this is a hidden wall right here. And it is. Okay, so it does include the hidden notes. That's good. That means I won't have to go, uh, go collecting all of them. Woo! Almost forgot the wall-mounted treasure. You gotta freaking love this soundtrack, too. Flip. 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 Onward. Little jelly monsters from... <laughs> look like the... The slimes from uh, Dragon Quest. Excuse me. Shovel Knight needs that gold, son. These little uh, food platters here, of course. Whoa! Usually contain food. <laughs> that one usually has a like a fully cooked chicken for you, but this time I, I guess in new game mode, all it's got is, is bombs. A Shovel Knight needs no food, only bombs. That right there is a checkpoint. In this game, this game is a little bit different. I would show it off right now, but I kind of don't want to lose my money. But uh, you actually don't get game overs in this game. You have essentially infinite lives. Every time you die, though, you lose your treasure. You lose a, a good percentage of your treasure. And you can choose to either continue on on the stage, quit the stage, and lose that treasure, or, uh, or like I said, just continue on with the stage and hopefully reclaim that treasure. You know, why am I waiting? Ha! Gotta love the propeller dagger. You get that from one of the game's later stages. Bouncing on the bubbles. I wonder if I can make that. And now I'm out of magic. You run out of, uh, <laughs> you run out of MP in this game really quickly, so you kinda have to use your relic sparingly, which I definitely did not do. The Wise Knight takes heed of his magical stock. So what exactly does that say about May? <laughs> Make sure you're always on the lookout for hidden walls, and things are everywhere. This is part of the good thing of, uh, of starting a new game plus. I remember where most of the hidden stuff is. Makes it super easy for me. You know, I kind of wish there was like a fabulous score that I could just keep racking up points on because of my shiny gold armor. You know, at the end of the stage, have Shovel Knight say something like, My fabulosity is ridiculous! <laughs> something silly like that. Oh well. There is no escape from the Shovel Knight. Well, except for the one who got away. But no additional units can escape from the Shovel Knight. Now see, this is about as old school of a platformer as you can get. This game takes tons of, uh, tons of inspiration from games like Super Mario Bros. 2, Mega Man especially, I think. Whoa! Tried to sneak on in there, couldn't get him quite in time. Try to... Come on now. Gotcha. Whoa. We'll be having none of that. Alright, cool. Fishing spot. Anytime you see, uh, a bottomless pit with shiny little areas like this, means you can fish there. The fishing rod is an item you will get later. But, whoop. Catch yourself a little gold fish there, get some extra money. Sometimes there's a uh, truffle fish in there, which will... Hold on. Which will uh, give you... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> a little on the close side. But uh, truffle fish will give you magic potions to like restore your MP, restore your HP and your MP, or make you invulnerable for a short amount of time. Stuff like that. They're cool guys. It's truly a beauty to behold. A Shovel Knight in his natural habitat. Let's see what he does. I know you're there. Can't hide from me. You know, I considered doing a no-hit speed run of this, but uh, I quickly changed my mind. And I think we're just about done with the first stage here. As I recall, not too much further. I tell you though, I love the soundtrack in this game. Found ourselves another hidden treasure. Indeed! I swear, people should start calling him Shovel McDuck. 
One of the things you'll notice that's funny about this game is Shovel Knight is incredibly short compared to all the rest of the knights <laughs> that you'll find yourself going up against. So it's like, I, I, I have, again, I imagine him with like this super, super posh, like chivalrous attitude, and I'm guessing all of the food stocks are going to be filled with bombs now. I can't eat a bomb. But just seeing him standing next to most of the other knights, except except little Black Knight there, who I imagine he's like a copy of Shovel Knight, so I imagine he's like a similar voice. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. I'm not even blue. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. <laughs> okay, I had to stop here because all I can think about is uh, one of the cheat codes for this game is called Butt Mode. And uh, if you activate it, which the code for it I do believe is X and symbol Butt, like B-U-T-T. -T. <laughs> you just give yourself that name at the beginning of the game and it it'll activate Butt Mode. But um, it replaces certain words in character dialogue with uh, with the word Butt. Like, it'll replace the word Shovel with Butt, Knight with Butt. And, and so on and so forth. So Shovel Knight's name becomes Butt Butt. <laughs> and right here, this particular line that, uh, that, that Black Knight says in that mode, since the word Knight is replaced with Butt, he goes, and her invincible... <laughs> it, it's hard for me to say. And her invincible butts of the order of no quarter. And I, I, I don't know, when I first saw that, I, I lost it. <laughs> I, I couldn't stop laughing. Anyway, I gotta focus. Gotta get back in character here. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! Indeed. <laughs> Alright, so we are at our first boss fight here. It's the good old Black Knight, who is basically a, a dark palette shovel knight. He, he uses a shovel just like you because he wants to be cool like Shovel Knight. He's actually really easy to beat, as long as you know uh, his maneuvers. You know. Even easier to be, cons you know, considering I have <laughs> a ton of health. Again, I am playing on a new game plus, so I have all of my items from my first playthrough. That makes things a little bit easier. For victory! Victory and justice wins again. By the steel of your shovel, right? <laughs> but alright, there we go. The game's first boss and first stage have been completed. Hopefully it didn't take too long. These stages take about anywhere between maybe 15 to 20 minutes to complete. And then afterwards you were treated to a nice little scene where Shovel Knight takes a load off by taking himself a nice little nap. Every once in a while, he drifts off into dreamland. And looks like we're doing that right now. <gasps> What's that? Shovel Knight! Look, can you see? Shield Knight! She's falling! Save her! Oh... Hark! I won't let my booty call fall! Remember, fellow knights and dandies, catch the booty. That'll be important later on. Wake up! What ho? <laughs> Always make sure you uh, cover up your campfire. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Indeed. And there we go, that is the uh, very first stage of Shovel Knight, the planes. They have been completed and we can now move on to, uh, to the lands beyond. And we can actually head on to the next phase of our journey, which is right here in the village. Although I do believe I'm going to leave that for the next video. I want to keep these videos at around 15 to 20 minutes a pop, which is about how long it takes to clear any one of these stages. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and call it quits for now. Thank you very much. You just watched part one of my Let's Play of Shovel Knight. Hopefully you guys don't get too, 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 too aggravated with my, uh, my, my character voices and iterations. Again, I apologize. It's just, just something I do whenever I play these games. I, I, I'm talking to myself, essentially. So I, I devolve into voices. And if it bugs you, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to keep a lid on it, but no promises. Not a single one. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to tune in for the next part of my Shovel Knight Let's Play, which should be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to try to get the entire game done over the course of this week, with an episode being released every single day. Be sure to tune in for that, guys. Anyways, it's going to be it for this one. If you guys like this video, 
feel free to check out my channel where I have a ton more gaming videos, including more Shovel Knight stuff coming out soon. Alright, that's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty, and see you on the next Shovel Knight episode.